up morning guys welcome to today's video it's another dark and dreary and awful day it's not so super cold it's just dark and i hate the dark fortunately for me i take this vitamin c and d3 and it really helps oh hi oh hi she's warm of course she's warm time for breakfast yeah. for any of you guys who have been missing trixie in our videos here she is all happy and healthy She's like, where's my breakfast? That, we need to get that shit off. Yeah. You're spiky. All right, so this morning we are gonna do something that is long overdue. If you are a long time viewer, then you will know under our crucifix, our beloved crucifix, is a growth chart that we put on the walls for our girls. I changed my mind. We changed the spot to here. That's where I was. That's okay. where Sophia is now. See how she's still shorter? Well, let's measure. All right, let's measure. Other Let's than measure. Where she was Let's before. measure. Five foot four and a half. Let's measure. Get over there, somebody. We just measured her. Feet? No, not properly. Did you use a pencil? Yes. Oh. Okay. Same height. Essentially, it's saying that they're the same exact height. Same? We're the same. Gabby is almost 16. Sophie has just turned 13. Back up. Oh my goodness. Gabby, stop. Back to back. Sophie looks taller. We are back to back. But essentially, they are really close in height. I would have swore that Sophie was taller, though. I could have swore. So Sophie's probably like five, five and a half. Are you five, five and a half or five, five? I don't know. It is dark and dreary and wet outside, but it's actually warm, you guys. I have a tripod. So there's a tripod. It's, a, it's so cool. I can't believe it. Like, I want it myself. She got it. Um, it has a little remote. It has the little base here. You can wrap it around things. It's like a gorilla tripod. It's just a bit different. Octopus. Oh, yeah. It's like an octopus tripod so you could like technically you Give could be technically you could be riding and stop wrap it around a tree branch it's and not, then okay. and then get on your horse ride and push record with the remote and then ride past and get footage it's so cool he gives no <laughs> everybody's inside everybody's inside it's so awful <gasps> um hello you got a little something something on your head <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's adorable. We always look down before we walk out the door because you never know what you're going to see. Like, so you guys saw that we did a little challenge with our horses the other day. I want to do I want to do more challenges in the next, like this winter because it's one of my most favorite things to do. I like challenging us. Like not, I love challenging our skills and seeing what our horses are good at and what they can do. And you guys all know that my horse, Penny Pickle, can, can knock anything over. <laughs> Anyway, before, so we're actually going to shoot a video down here in the barn. I don't know when it'll go up. I think I'm behind a couple of videos. I'm not sure. Is there a video? Well, anyways, I don't know when it's going to go up, but, but basically, before, I, before we start shooting this video, I just wanted to tell you guys, um, I noticed somebody, Lena specifically, was asking about riding lessons, and it's not that we're not riding anymore. It's that our barn is closed for two weeks for Christmas holidays. I thought I told you guys, but I probably forgot. Our barn is closed two weeks for holidays, uh, the first two weeks of January. So next week, we'll be back at riding. It's, it's just something that happens. And another thing I wanted to, to address was that um, some people are saying that the only reason Chino, you know, isn't doing his best is because we aren't riding on consistency that consistently this is the very first year ever that we haven't had him at a lesson barn and been riding him all winter this is the first time we've ever done this this is the first time we've taken a break of riding over the winter and it's just life it's just life it's just what's happening it's not that we choose not to ride him consistently it's not that gabby is lazy and doesn't want to ride you want to ride your horse don't you she she's excited to ride it was us that made the choice to bring him home for the winter and next year will be different but for now he's home and 
unfortunately, some things are just life and we can't help it. Like some things just happen, choices have to be made and it just ends up not being what you want to happen, but it is what happens. So anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys those two things and I'm gonna go shoot my video and then I'll be back. I've honestly noticed that if we don't bring the dogs down, that the horses are way better to work with. They're not like always running all over the place and stuff. Okay, so I don't know why we've never thought of this before, but we are setting things up to shoot a video. We're gonna try and just do it so that we can get like the best light, but I wanna be in the barn. This is the thing that I was showing you guys the other day. So see, wow, it's like doing so good, except for that my front facing camera on my phone sucks, so I'm gonna try and turn it around. But look, if I try and get it to, whoa, don't do that, holy crap. That was scary, hold on. All right, so I have my Pivo thing right there and I'm just trying it out. I'm gonna have to like fix it up because, Gracie, can't eat my phone. I'm gonna try and I have to like redo it because this is what my phone looks like right now. Like obviously it's not holding my phone properly because I need to balance it a little bit better, but I just want to try it out today and see how it works. Oh my gosh. That's the cutest. She's like, can I be in the video? All right. Let's just see here. How this is gonna work. To like have it so it's aesthetic. Oh no! Oh, chair over here to shoot this video that we shot so we all could sit here and we're just sitting here just imagine us we're all sitting here along the back of the chair we're all sitting here and then all of a sudden honey jumps up from the back oh my gosh it was so funny you guys look at this they're like two little toddlers fighting around their mom honey's like i will fight you i will fight you she likes me better i like willow better do you? She, I said she's always my favorite. Yeah, she's your dream. All right, so this is what I set it up to look like. It's uh, searching for a face. Oh, there we go. All right, so this is what I set it up to be like. But I don't want that camera. Shoot, I did it wrong. Okay, hold on. All right, so it's looking for a face. <laughs> Wait, I'm right here. <laughs> See if it follows me. Oh, is it on Gracie? All right, so I'll show you guys this footage of the Pivo at work. This is what I'm like trying to get up because I don't know how to work it, but actually there's this really cool phenomenon. You guys know that we're home this winter and poor Chino is stuck and can't do too much if we just drive out once a week. So what if, so there are trainers that you can access and you can go through Bluetooth and this is set up, the Pivo, it can actually, you send a link to a trainer and then they can watch it while you're riding and talk to you and tell you what to do. So you can do like, you can do lessons through Bluetooth and like you can do lessons through the Pivo with a, with a trainer. So that opens up like so many training less, like that opens up a variety of trainers that we could do lessons with. We could do lessons with so many different people if we could do that. So if the weather's bad, all that kind of stuff. Like, it would be fun just to have, like, some fun different trainers from somebody, like, people all over the world. Maybe even some of you guys. Okay, so in another recent video, we showed you Sophie backing up. Me. I was like, what recent video? I don't watch her videos. <laughs> uh, I was terrified. Uh, sure. It's lunchtime. When we got honey... When we got honey, good girl, yeah, but we want to teach her to back up without the lead rope. All of our horses actually, uh oh, they're all going to eat. All of our horses actually back up really well without even any hands at all. But Sophie's just starting to train her now. But she does, she learns so fast. Good girl, yeah, look, you can see her learning. Good girl. Okay, that's good. Give her a treat. Good girl, yeah. So, 
So I don't know why we didn't teach her that, like right from the start to back up. That's one of the first things I feel like we should have taught her. Yeah, so Gabby just said we should train her to, when you should touch her chest when you do it. Well, what I do to my horse is I just put my hand like this and she automatically backs up. Like I don't even have to touch her. Because if I just do that like normally, it would hit her head. Yeah, so anyways, that's the beginning of her teaching. Okay. There we go. Don't you know that you're beautiful?